guys, Jessica here. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be giving a makeover to this little desk. I found this desk at my local thrift store for $10. It needs a couple little repairs, and then I'm going to be refinishing the desktop, painting the base, and then selling it for a profit. So if you'd like to see this desk transformation, just keep watching. So this petite desk is made of solid pine wood. It's a pretty nice sturdy piece. It does have a couple little issues that need to be addressed, such as it looks like the wood on one of the sides has had some shake in it, has some cracks and some chips. It's still structurally sound. It just has some surface damage that needs to be filled in. Also, it looks as if there was a drawer at one time that has been broken off. I'm just gonna put a little trim piece over it to cover it up. So to get started, I grabbed my hand orbital sander and I started sanding off the old finish on the desktop. To get along the edges of the desktop, I used my detail hand sander. Because I'm going to be painting the base and the drawers of the desk, I just gave them a light scuff sanding to help remove some of that finish so that the primer and the paint can adhere better. I'm going to be refinishing the desktop, so I stained it with this early American wood stain. I applied one coat of the stain with a rag. Using a small pine board piece, I marked to where it needs to be cut down, and then I trimmed it on my miter saw. Then I gave the board a good sanding. I applied a couple coats of the wood filler to the cracks and after letting it dry, I sanded it smooth. To prep for painting, I gave everything a really good cleaning with a soapy rag and then came back with a wet rag to remove any soap residue. I applied one coat of Kills Premium Primer. For the paints, I am using Bear's Chalk Paints in the color Northwoods. To seal the chalk paint, I am using Varathane's water-based polyurethane and I applied three coats.
So for the desktop, I used Varthane's Triple Thick Polyurethane. I applied two coats of that, and then I used one coat of the regular polyurethane. For the finishing touches, I line the drawers with some adhesive drawer liner, and then I also line the sides of the drawers as well. I had this drawer liner left over from a dresser that I recently redid, so this didn't cost me anything for this project. So one thing that really drew me to this little desk was the cute little knobs that were on the drawers. So to update them and make them really stand out, I painted them with some metallic gold spray paints. I put a couple coats of spray paint and then I sealed it with a matte clear finish. So now it's time to put everything back together and do a quick little staging for some pictures. And just a quick reminder of what the desk looked like before. And here it is now. marketplace for $85. I probably could have listed it a little bit higher, but because I do not have the space to store this right now, I am willing to let it go for a little bit less just so I can get it out of my house. So if I do sell it for 85 bucks, I will make a net profit of $70. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are not already a subscriber to our channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and we'll see you guys in a later video.